They are about ready to kick off another Cop Block tour that uh, Free Talk Live and LRN.FM and Free Keen has sponsored in the past, many, many years ago, back not too long after we made the move here to New Hampshire. Uh, Ademo Freeman and Pete Ayer and uh, some other guys went on tour, and they uh, toured around. They did something called Liberty On Tour, and those eventually turned into Cop Block Tours. And uh, I've had the uh, the pleasure of being, you know, of helping them make this thing happen as a sponsor. And so I'm I'm grateful to be on board again now that Cop Block is so much bigger than it was back in when was it founded? 2008, Ademo Freeman. Welcome. Well, two, 2010, January 2010. So we're approaching uh, six years. Yeah. Oh wow, it seems like it's been longer than that. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess like yeah, as you know, uh, doing the grind it uh, takes some time, and so six years here in. Uh, January will be January 24th ish. So you're uh, you've actually teamed up with a guy named Brian Sumner and uh, tell me a little bit about Brian and then let's talk about cop block and the tour. Sure. Well, Brian is uh, from Fresno, California and was part of Fresno cop block. And uh, this past January, I uh, became more active again after a, a little bit of time doing an agorous business and uh, clearing my head after doing some jail time. But uh, when I came back to Coplock this January, I started a thing called the Coplock Network, which is basically trying to harness the energy of the decentralized nat- nature of Coplock uh, by, you know, having all these folks who are active like Brian or Kelly Patterson or like folks that are up there in Keene um, to say, hey, we're all doing these things. Let's kind of do them with the, the uh, same direction and uh, see what happens. And since then, we have over 13 contributors uh, at the website, the, the coplock.org is getting over 2 million hits a month. And wow. now uh, the Coplock Network is also a large reason why Brian and I are able to take uh, to the road for the next seven months in MAC, the Mobile Accountability for Cops. I want to talk more about MAC and what your plan is uh, on the road. But for our listeners who maybe are new to the show tonight, perhaps new to Cop Block, I mean, Cop Block has become an international phenomenon to encourage people to hold police accountable usually with video cameras uh but to you know hold cops accountable for their actions one of the main goals of cop block but can you explain what cop block is for a new listener tonight sure well cop block is the idea that badges don't grant extra rights uh it's it's very simple uh, many people with different varieties of freedoms or thoughts on other, other social issues still can unite under this idea for the police aspect that it, like i said badges do not grant extra rights coplock.org uh, is obviously a website and uh, through these two channels uh, folks are free to do you know like whatever they see is fit some folks will contribute to coplock.org through the coplock network make videos and and do their own things other folks start their own chapters that have their own websites their own facebook pages they have local meetups they go out on like regular patrols we hope to meet up with quite a few of those uh, folks that are active throughout the coplock uh, idea uh, while we're on the road. And so, yeah, cop lock is the idea that badges don't grant extra rights and cop lock is a decentralized uh, organizations where folks can unite under that, that banner uh, to, you know, say, you know, let's get some accountability and uh, some transparency. And one of the ways you do that is by encouraging people to record video of the police. Like it's one of the easiest things that you can do. Although I guess some people would say it can be a little nerve wracking the, the first time or few, few times out uh, that's definitely one of the, the tenets, right? Oh, absolutely. The best tool is the video camera. Uh, and that's the start of a lot of these aspects, as well as sharing some ideas and tactics and networking with with other folks. So you can get all of that at coplock.org slash resources, where there's a number of tips for filming the police, gear you might need, apps that are good for your phones, even defense strategies uh, into court, which you know many of us that are on the show here tonight are aware of, whether that's jury nullification representing yourself or uh, Mark Stevens' uh, approach of, you know, jurisdiction and legitimacy. So uh, this isn't the first, this isn't your first rodeo. It's not your first tour. Uh, When was the last time you went on one of these things? Well, 2012 is when I, you know, at at the, like, beginning of 2012 is when Pete and I stopped touring uh, Liberty on tour. Uh, Most of that was due to the number of legal cases I found myself in. (laughs) <laughs> um, I was facing the three wiretapping charges in New Hampshire there, Manchester. Uh, and so that was really occupying a lot of my time. And um, with that uncertainty, you know, I was facing 21 years in prison. So it was very hard to uh, plan anything further than like the conclusion of that 
that trial. Yeah, and you were um, facing that the, that gift. time in prison because you recorded some government bureaucrats here in New Hampshire where the laws uh, against wiretapping are absolutely ridiculous. Some of the worst law on the books uh, here in New Hampshire. And you managed right. to beat that at the Supreme Court. That's right. That was ultimately overturned after I did 92 days in jail. Right. But you didn't get yeah, those so days that, back, though. Nope, not at all. But so after that, I kind of took a little time off and tried to do like a, an agorist business with Sons of Liberty Mint. Uh, and, and I appreciated the time I spent there. And it was definitely, you know, in hindsight needed to like, you know, freshen my legs, take a new perspective on, on some things. And uh, like I said, <laughs> this, at the end of 2014, um, you know, I decided that you know, cop lock is probably where I belong, where I should be. And I kind of, you know, I was helping Pete with his previous tour, the police accountability tour, Pete Ayer, the co-founder of mm -hmm. coplock.org with me, uh, when him, um, Jacob Crawford and, uh, Garrett Ian, uh, went on the road, uh, cross country. And, uh, so I was behind the scenes in that and involved in some of the other aspects. But in January, I, I came back, I guess, to be like creating content regularly, uh, trying to expand the, uh, the network of cop lock. So like getting some of the bloggers that were all sporadically blogging everywhere into one area, helping uh, us promote one another. Mm -hmm. You know, we now have a relationship with Liberty stickers.com who oh, cool. provides us. Yeah. They provide us some great flyers and outreach materials, which gets back into the hands of these local uh, chapters who are out on the street. So not only are they filming when somebody comes up and asks them, why are you doing this or whatnot? You know, you can't always have the A to Z conversation you know as in like oh i'm filling the police because of this and then they understand it when they leave so that now they have business cards or three by five flyers or what we call the warning flyer which warns people of police activity in their area all of those can be seen at coplock.org slash flyers um and so that's what i've been doing in the last couple months and that's all accumulated into the 13 contributors and now our seven month tour which we hope could conclude with a uh Cop Lock Network headquarters. So yeah. you're going to be on the road for seven months, uh, traveling all around the uh, the 48 United States, right? The contiguous 48. Uh, yeah, what? primarily the southwest uh, at this time because of mm -hmm. the time of year it is. Right. And you're kicking off from uh, you're in the Cincinnati area right now. You've got the as you said, MAC, which is the Mobile Accountability for Cops. Was that what it stood for? What was it? Yep, Mobile Accountability for Cops uh, is what MAC stands for. And it's an RV. It's kind of like a little shorty, though, right? This isn't a monster RV like you had uh, previously with uh, the, your, your previous Marv. tours. Marv. Yeah, yeah Mar Marv, the mobile, account of, or the mobile Authority Resistance Vehicle. You guys was say it with the New York accent, Mauve. <laughs> Mauve, that's right. It, Marv was 30 feet long, and actually MAC is only six feet shorter. Oh, really? Okay. But I believe because of the cab being different, uh, the Marv was a Class A and um, Mac is a class C. And so that means it has like the two doors in the front and like a, a cab where we, where the, where the driver and passenger can ride. I see. Mac is more square in front, or excuse me, Marv was more square in front. And so it probably looks, you know, that extra six feet looks a lot more when it's not squared off with the nose. Right, right. All right. So, so there's, uh, so there's enough room for the two of you in there comfortably. And, uh, you know, you've done this before, but I, I know Brian's with you. Brian, uh, have you ever been on anything like this before? Have you ever lived in an RV uh, cross country? Uh, okay. So I've never lived in an RV across country, but I have lived in an RV before. Oh, okay. Just yeah, stationary. He's, got, he's, he's accustomed to some of the, the uh, knickknacks, you know, like the dinette folds into the bed area as well. And so, right. like these multi-use spaces i want to talk more uh, if you guys have time about you know what the plan is what are you guys gonna be doing on the road uh i know that you certainly will be recording the police and likely meeting up with people all around the country and obviously a big question is where are you going first out of cincinnati and when is it going to kick off all of that still to come you guys can stick with us for a little bit right that's right all right let's all go right. back to ademo and brian who are preparing to take off from the cincinnati ohio area to various different parts of the United States, starting with the Southwest. Uh, Ademo, when are you guys going to kick this tour off? I've heard next week. What's the plan? Where are you guys at? Well, we've kind of kicked it off a little bit already. Last weekend, we went into Cincinnati. We're just on the outskirts and uh, covered a protest that was in the name of Samuel DeBose, who was shot and killed by the uh, University of Cincinnati Police Department. Uh, oh and that officer has since been indicted and is, uh, is uh, going to be heading to trial. But uh, some arrest and, a, you know, an excessive use of a taser happened there. And uh, we've our footage from that incident has been getting some pretty good media attention around here. So it's partially kicked off already. 
it was a good uh, Saturday for us to get out. We've been working in Mac a lot on, on these logistics, but uh, I, I really think uh, Brian and I will gel really well. And it was nice to have that little kick before little we even started. Run. Right. But tomorrow we head uh, to another friend shop. Uh, we're going to, unlike other tours, be towing a car along. We'll be bringing my car, which will give us a wider range of areas to cover because when we were in uh, M- Marv, you know, that 30 footer driving that around anywhere is kind of an inconvenience. And so mm-hmm. we're going to be much more mobile this time having the car. We're going to go get some mounts put on that tomorrow. And then Sunday, uh, start making our way north towards Chicago, where another cop block network contributor, uh, Ryan Scott is. And uh, he's just outside of Chicago in a college town. And uh, we'll hold a little uh, cop blocking night uh, while we're there. It's one of like our pre stops because we're going to spend about a month in each city but we will stop at some places along the way. So the first like big stop is Dallas, Texas, but we will hit uh, just outside of Chicago, Iowa city, uh, Kansas city and Oklahoma city on our way there for like weekend uh, cop locking nights. So folks can head over to coplock.org slash Mac M a C not only get an overview of our schedule, keep up with the content we've created and uh, find out ways that they can help support our tour or, uh, content, the idea that badges don't grant extra rights as well. Yeah, you guys are, uh, you've made a video that I saw you upload to YouTube wherein uh, one can donate a very small amounts to, you know, up to $100. And there's t shirts and goodies and things like that that you'll be shipping out as well. So you're going to be fulfilling orders while you're on the road, huh? Well, yeah, for, for that donation as- aspect, we will be. Um, but th- through the coplock.org slash store, which has a number of other items that we don't have on, on Mac here. Right. Um, like bumper stickers, cop lock stickers, uh, the business cards and flyers, which you can get for free at coplock.org slash flyer, but you can also buy them a hundred at a time. Uh, and the proceeds going to get more flyers uh, at coplock.org slash store. So for the um, donation thing, the tour is funded, you know, the, the advertisers like yourself uh, and others have helped purchase the RV and get us, down the first way, the Coplock Network provides us a salary, but there are some variable expenses. And so if folks want to help us, you know, with a meal or some gas in the tank, because state to state, city to city, that varies mm-hmm. and season to season, uh, they can go to coplock.org slash Mac. They'll see the donation aspect there. And uh, right now we're offering like Coplock t-shirts, stickers, and even really cool $120 value uh, smartphone cases. So you can get an OtterBox or LifeProof uh, case for your smartphone up to $120 value wow. if you donate 100 bucks to the tour. So uh, what am I missing? I mean, what's going to be really cool about this that, uh, you know, we haven't talked about yet, obviously going from place to place. Uh, oh, one thing, I guess one question I had for you. You mentioned you're going to be staying for a month in major cities like Dallas, Texas. <laughs> that means you're digging deep. You're not just, you know, coming in for a weekend, doing a little cop blocking and moving on. You're going to be in there and, like, investigating police corruption, right? Like, what are you going to be doing with your month month's time? That's a long time. Well, we have a number of ideas of things we can do. So, of course, we're going to cop lock and hold events and try to talk to folks. But, uh, you know, we also want to be repetitive, you know, so like we we can go out several times after we meet folks. We can network with them to even cover local stories or make, uh, you know, different types of content, whether that's like uh, not so much cop locking, but like we we have a green screen on board, many cameras. We can do, you know, storytelling, uh, uh, tips, how to's, check out other people's gears, talk about their uh, ways to combat police brutality or lack of accountability in their area. So uh, a number of things from embedding ourselves with offshoots, creating our own original content, uh, and mixed in with the what everyone knows we do well, uh, cop blocking on the streets. And uh, folks can keep an eye on the tour by going to copblock.org slash Mac, and then also, what, subscribing to the Cop Block YouTube channel or the Adamo Freeman YouTube channel? What's the best way to keep an eye on things? Well, we have a Mac YouTube channel as well. Ah. Sadly, we don't have enough subscribers yet, but if you you will find the link at coplock.org slash Mac, and then we'll have a short URL for that. Okay. Um, also, the Coplock Network Facebook page, as well as coplock.org and its usual um, social networks. You know, we everybody's things can feed through there, and so ours will as well. Cool. All right. So is there anything that I've missed as far as, you know, covering what's happening here? I, mean, I think that's it. Uh, we hope that if uh, we're on our stop, if we're on, if we're in your area, that you come out to our meetup and or uh, cop block with us. Strength in numbers, and uh, we can all learn things from one another, which is another big aspect to this. It's uh, strengthening the network, providing people with the information to know like what is available to them through the cop block network, and uh, 
what they're doing in their area so that we can, you know, work to spread the message that badges don't grant extra rights uh, to the next, take it to the next level. Any plans on, uh, on coming back to the birthplace for a while? Well, uh, this tour is, is, uh, is written out through April of next year. And so winter, obviously, which is why we're in the Southwest because we're in an RV. But after that, we all know of the Free State Project's uh, Pork Fest, the Porcupine mm -hmm. Freedom Festival held every June. Brian and I both have intentions of making it to that. And so I don't see why from like, you know, May to July or August, there might not be a tour that starts in the middle of the country and heads to the Northeast. Sounds really? like fun, and I know I know you're going to be uh, keeping us in the loop here on Free Talk Live, and at least hopefully a weekly basis, kind of giving us updates and the latest. That's that's our plans. I appreciate it, you guys. Uh, drive safe out there, and we'll look forward to hearing from you again. That's copblock.org/mac. Go and follow those guys. Demo and Brian are about to kick off the Copblock tour.